The Brizzy Builder has allowed you to bring in SVG images for some time now, and now also it allows you to resize them and set them to the pixel value you would like it. I have two columns here. Let's bring in an image element, and this is going to work both in Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. I'm currently in Cloud. I'll bring in an image, and in this case, I'll bring in Brizzy logo. Before I show you the pixel value, one thing I just want to give you as a little bit of a tip. The way Brizzy works with images is that when it brings it in, it stretches it to the width of the column. And if you are going to change the width of your column at some point, at the best is to do it at this moment. Let me explain to you why. Click on the SVG and then as I resize it, you will see I can make it smaller. Now I think I want to make my column smaller. But by doing that, Brizzy is going to keep the white space that we've introduced there and also resize your logo smaller and smaller. If we take it back there, let's grab the handles and drag it all the way. And that's why I recommend that before you do anything, just make sure that you've got the columns to the width that you want. Let's leave it nice and big and select again the SVG image. Now here I can, of course, resize it the way I had shown you. In the event where you really want to have full control over the size of this image, go to the settings in the options toolbar and you will see that we have two options. By default, it is set to percentage. And that's what happens when you drag those handles. You can take it all the way down to one, no, to five. And then of course, all the way to 100. And as I have explained to you, the moment you bring it to 100, it's going to stretch it to the width of the column. That's what we mean by percentage. Included now is the option also to put it in pixels. So if I switch over to pixels, it is going to set it automatically to the pixel amount that that column is taking up, which in this case is 532. Now though, you have locked in the pixel of 532, which means if I go to the column and I drag it wider, it's not going to resize with the column. It's going to retain that 532 pixels. If I put it on percentage and I drag it to 100, you'll see it will go full. And then when I switch it back to pixels, now it draws in the pixels again, which is 691. This, of course, gives you the control to dial in the exact pixel. So in this case, if I wanted to use it as a logo, let's go for 250 and then I can align it to the left. And you will see as I drag the column, it's not going to change it until I've reached that maximum area of what the column can hold. And then it will downsize it to fit into the new column shape that I'm dragging in. Great flexibility. And you can see even as I drag the column back, even though I have resized it smaller, the moment I go beyond the setting of the pixel value of 250 pixels, it will stay at 250 pixels. Again, a great way how you can lock it in. And this is done with SVG images. Of course, for PNG and JPEG, they all work, but now you can make this magic happen with SVG as well.